Well, mm, some people might. Hello internet, my name is Catherine, and today I'm talking to you guys about how to be sober in college. Not many people are sober in college, which is exactly what I was expecting, um, but as somebody who is sober, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I have a whole video on it that will be in the cards if you want to know why. Um, I think it would be helpful to have a video on how to stay sober in college when you're surrounded by partying and drinking and drugs and you want to be able to participate and go out but just not get involved in that stuff. So let's get into it. You're going to want to find a supportive group of people. This doesn't mean that all of them have to be sober. Most of my friends are not sober, but they're supportive of the fact that I'm sober. They don't question my sobriety. They aren't pressuring me to drink or to smoke, and that's the type of people that you want to be around. People who accept the fact that you're sober for whatever your reasons are, and that um, they don't, you don't need to explain yourself to them or anything like that. You want to find those types of people. Secondly, you can still participate in everything. Nobody cares. <laughs> I've gone out a lot um, while being here and I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't do anything, um, and I have a great time. It's super fun to just go out and dance, dress up, to go out with your friends. Um, nobody looks at you weird, nobody cares. A lot of people aren't holding cups throughout the whole night, that's just not how it works. So you can still participate and go out and do all of those things, so don't feel like you can't do that just because you're not drinking. That being said, if going out is something you don't like doing, there's tons of other things to do. College is such a beautiful experience because there's tons of clubs. Um, I should hmm, prove that. I don't mean like dance clubs. I mean like extracurricular clubs and activities that you can join um, and like meet new people with and you don't have to like go out. You can still just like do other things with those clubs that have little outings, things like that, uh, bowling, a thing I love to do, laser tag, exploring new places, just walking around can be super fun. Staying in and hosting movie nights, really fun. Um, there's tons of things that you can do that don't involve going out to parties, so you don't have to feel like if you don't want to go out to a party, you're not going to have social life, because that's just not true. People love watching movies, people love going bowling, love doing laser tag, love exploring, so don't be afraid to bring that up to people. People will most likely really be down for it. Learn how to say no. I have never personally experienced a time where somebody has really pressured me into drinking or smoking, but you just wanna know to say, oh, no thank you. And that's what I've developed. People, do you wanna smoke? Do you wanna drink? No thank you. And they're fine. Sometimes people ask why, um, and then I just say, oh, I'm sober. And then sometimes people ask why, and then I explain why I'm sober. But um, a lot of the times, it's just like, oh no thanks, okay cool. A lot of people just don't care. But um, you wanna learn to not be like, oh not this time, you know, unless truthfully you just don't want to that time, that's totally fine. But if you are sober and wanna be sober, just learn to have assertiveness in your voice. No, no thank you. You don't want to be judging people for their actions ever. Um, I don't do that. I don't judge any of my friends who drink or smoke. I think that is fully their choice and as long as they're being safe, I fully am okay with it. Um, what I'm not okay with is people being put in danger because of other people's activities. So, you know, take responsibility for yourself and for your actions and be safe. But I, I don't mind. So I don't want people to feel uncomfortable being around me because I'm not uncomfortable being around them. So I don't want them to feel like I'm judging them. So I always tell people I'm totally fine with it. It's just personally not for me. If it's something that is triggering to you or something that you can't be around, that is completely okay. And you can find people who are sober or people who don't go out that much or people who will spend time with you when they're not going out so that you don't have to be around that and your safety and your health is the most important thing overall. So never feel like you have to jeopardize that and go out just, you know, because everybody else is going out or to do that. Like one time people were going out to a party and I hung out with some of my other friends and I baked cookies that night and it was so much fun. Um, I'm guessing some people are gonna go out tonight. I'm gonna go to a hockey game and then sit here and watch some Netflix because I went out three times in the past week and I'm exhausted <laughs> and I just need some sleep. <laughs> Realize that you are not weird for being sober in college, <laughs> especially if you are a freshman or a sophomore and even 
some to most juniors, um, drinking is illegal. <laughs> and I feel like people like, like they know that. <laughs> like nobody expects you to be doing that. Well, mm, some people might expect you to be doing that, but <laughs> there's not a reason that people should be expecting you to do anything. You're just, you're just kind of doing what you should be doing. It's like you're you're totally fine <laughs> it's just um, I don't know a big part of it for me is I was really nervous coming to college and I was afraid that people were gonna judge me and that I wasn't gonna have any friends because um, I don't drink and I don't do drugs and I knew that that's a big part of the atmosphere here and that's fine um, but you know I was scared that people weren't gonna want to be around me or be really reserved around me or like block me from their snapchat stories like different things like that and I just didn't want that because I truthfully honestly just don't care what other people do as long as they're safe and um, let me just tell you you don't have to worry about that at least where I go to school uh, go Huskies um, people here are so supportive and so nice and genuine and like this is the cutest moment ever in my life this one time it was like the first week of school this girl brought down these like champagne flavored gummy bears and she goes but Kevin it's okay like they don't have any actual alcohol in them so I thought you could try them and like I've had sips of alcohol before like I've had sips of champagne and sips of wine um, it's just my own personal choice to not drink but that to me like, just the fact that she, like, saw those and were like, oh, this is, like, a fun little snack and, oh, like, Catherine can also consume them. It's, and it's not like if they had alcohol in them, I, I wouldn't consume them. I'm not, like, that rigid about my sobriety. Me, personally, I just, like, I don't actually drink alcohol, but I'm not, like, you know, I'll have, like, a Bananas Foster. Like, it's not, like, anything with alcohol in it I avoid. Um, but it was just such a cute moment that she thought about that for me. And I just love that. That just meant a lot to me. And you will find people like that who your sobriety isn't like, they don't like you despite your sobriety. Um, your sobriety is just part of who you are and they're okay with that. So I think I've said most of what I've been trying to say. Being sober in college is totally acceptable and totally okay. Being sober throughout your whole life is totally fine. But I think that there's a big stigma around drinking in college. And you know, think of all the college movies you've ever seen high school movies even people drink people do drugs in them and that's fine like that's like you know like whatever but if you choose to be sober it can be kind of intimidating when you know you're a freshman in college and you're coming in here and you have no idea what to expect and you don't know what's gonna happen and you don't know if people are gonna judge you and I just want to make this video that me a year ago would have so appreciated which is just you're gonna be fine <laughs> nobody cares literally nobody cares some people might ask why and it's never a condescending why i wouldn't say never but like most of the time it's not a condescending why it's just a curious why people like to know you know oh, why don't you drink um and you know curiosity is just a thing and i'm never offended by anybody asking me that question um please also know that you don't have to explain that you can just say it's just my choice i just don't want to i just don't like it and that's that's enough. That's enough of a response. Saying I don't want to is enough of an answer. But um, if you want to and feel comfortable with explaining your reasoning, if you have reasoning other than that, which you do not need, to people, feel free to do that if you want to. Um, for me, that's something I'm very comfortable talking about. It's a big part of who I am as a person. So me discussing that is um, very natural to me, but you do not have to do that. Um, but most of the time, people don't even ask. People don't care. People don't notice. That's the truth is that people are so consumed in their selves. We're always being like, oh, I wonder if anybody's thinking about me, if anybody's looking at me, if any, And we all think that way, and then nobody is ever looking at other people. We're all just really focusing on how other people view us, which is sad. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> just live in the moment and enjoy it and realize that people probably just don't even care, and that's okay. So, yeah. You can definitely still go out and be sober, um, I do it. I go out at least once a week. I have a fun time. I, I dance and I look cute and <laughs> it's a blast sometimes. Sometimes it's not and I wish I would have stayed home and watched Netflix, but um, you can go out and be sober and you can not go out in college. There's both options there. Or like, you don't have to go out in college. It's not like you have to party. You definitely don't. There's tons of things to do other than that all the time like I feel like I'm constantly being like oh I can't I made plans for this or I can't do that I have plans for this like there's always something that you can be doing so you don't have to worry about that 
And again, just find a good support group. Uh, stay strong in your morals. If it's something that you really want to do, don't give in to peer pressure. Just learn how to say no and use that word because it's super powerful. And you're gonna be fine. You're just gonna be so fine. It's all gonna be okay. And those are my tips and tricks and pieces of advice on how to stay sober in college and why it's okay to be sober in college. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I make new videos every single Saturday and I would love to have you. And I hope you guys have a great day. Love you so much. Bye!